Joel and welcome to Keep Your Enemies Close, the show where best friends get to take part in unbelievable challenges. But not all the challenges will be alongside each other. Oh no, they'll be ruthlessly mixed up and forced to play alongside their enemies. Could you turn your enemy into a frenemy? Let's meet the four pairs of best friends who are willing to do just that and put their friendship on the line. They're all in The Mixer. First up is Joe and Daniel from Aberdeen. Then Alicia and Lydia from Swansea. Next is Nikisha and Danny from Swindon. And lastly, Megan and Callum from Wrexham. They're all best friends and this is why. I'm Joe. Hi, I'm Daniel. We live in Aberdeen and We've known each other for six years. We like to climb trees together. I'm the play, best. Play, play games consoles and Lego. But I'm the best climber. But I'm the best at climbing. I am. 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 My name's Lydia. And my name's Alicia. We've been friends forever and even if we split up, we both stay friends. We like to play lots of sports like football, rounders and hockey and we always like to be on the same teams. My bad habit is sleep fluffing. I'm 10. And I'm 10. I'm Danny and this is Nikisha. I have a bad habit of biting my nails all the time and Nikisha's always telling me off for it. Yeah. Danny. <laughs> we play football at school together. We were both on the school football team. My name is Callum. I'm nine years old. Me and Megan, we go to Cubs together. We like eating food. Yeah. That's our favourite thing. That's our hobby, definitely. Yeah. We do jazz, hip hop, Michael Jackson. Not taking the mick, though. What a great bunch of best friends. But very soon, they're going to be torn apart by the mixer. But more of that later. It's now time to put the best friends to the test in the first and possibly last challenge they'll face together. Here, they'll not only gain a massive psychological advantage, but they'll also gain a unique reward. This is the hand of friendship. And if they win the best friend challenge, that could come in very, very handy if any of the best friends make it to the final. As we play this. Tube Strike. He'll be able to see just how well you best friends work together. What you'll do, you'll start in one corner. You'll then have to roll to the opposite corner, flip up your tube, and then strike down your team-coloured target. Only once that's hit the floor can you then roll back into the middle, flip up your tube again, and burst the one and only winning balloon. A big bang heel mean a big victory, plus the hand of friendship. Keep your friends close. <laughs> Well, these guys are laughing away, and they've all rolled into a crash. <laughs> Bang there, right in the middle. <laughs> Purples, Nikisha and Danny have escaped and sandwiched the silvers between the pink's tube. <laughs> On the right, Blues, Daniel and Joe aren't rolling anywhere, but pinks, Callum and Megan flip up and strike their targets. Purples, Nikisha and Danny. Ah, oh, near miss. Blues dawdle whilst the pinks steam in for what must be a certain victory. Yes! No! Second time lucky. No, another miss. They're all in there now. Pinks are so close again. Whoa, one minute. Look, the Blues, Daniel and Joe. They've stolen it. Right. Well done, Joe and Daniel. I'm going to get you out. Wait there. Let's just see how you won that. Three tubes all aiming to strike, but the Blues nailed it first. Well done, Daniel. Well done, Joe. That was... Incredible. I mean, at one point I thought 
You were going to lose. You won. How, how did you do it? Did you have any tactics? No. <laughs> you had no tactics, OK. Just luck. Well, this is what you've won. You've won the hand of friendship. Now, this could come in very, very useful if you make it to the final. Now, do you think you're going to make it that far? Yes. Why? Because we're the best. Well, whether Daniel and Joe make it to the final remains to be seen, as this is a game show with a difference. Because very soon, you guys will be playing against each other. Yes, best friends playing against each other. Before each challenge, the mixer will mix up the best friends to create new pairs of frenemies, two people who don't know each other. The frenemies will have to put any differences aside and work together in order to win. After each challenge, the losing pair will be eliminated and sent back to the mixer and locked down. So four pairs become three, then three become two, until only one pair remain. The winning pair of frenemies split and release their best friends from lockdown. Reunited, they will face the final to win. Keep your enemies close. So even if one of the best friends is eliminated, the other best friend has to keep on winning in order to get to the final. But to get that far, they're going to have to work pretty closely with some enemies. So without any further ado, let's crank it up. The first pair of frenemies is Joe and Callum. The second pair of frenemies is Daniel and Alicia. And the third pair of frenemies is Danny and Megan. Joe, if he could be a celebrity for one day, he would be Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, Callum asked if he could pie one celebrity, it would be Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, if Cristiano Ronaldo was to walk in, Joe would try and be his best friend, but then Callum would send him on his way because he pied. That could be a massive argument. Daniel thinks girls moan and tell on you. Well, Alicia thinks boys think they know everything. Uh-oh. Well, boys do know everything. That's, that's just a fact. But these two could be arguing. Uh-oh, look, they're already staring at each other. Oh, I don't think what's going to happen. What food do you prefer, chips or chocolate? Well, Danny prefers chips. Whereas Megan prefers chocolate people. This could be a real issue. You can argue amongst yourselves at home, but these two, they have different tastes in food. Finally, Lydia and Nikish. Now, if Lydia could have any superpower, it would be to electrocute people. That's scary. Oh, no, and Nikisha, if she could have one superpower, it would be to rock climb, which she could probably do anyway, but she might be scared of, of Elise now, in, in case she might get electrocuted. Ooh. Well, remember that one pair of frenemies will be eliminated as we play this. Pump action. Here, you frenemies have to work together and pump as fast as you can. Teamwork will, will be vital because you've got to get a good rhythm. Now, what's going to happen here? Air is going to be pumped right through to these inflatable hands. Once enough air is in the hands, they will then explode. So then what you've got to do, you've got to take the airlock off and put it onto the next hand until all four inflatable hands have exploded. And the pair of frenemies who do this last will be eliminated. So, frenemies, I bid you good luck. And remember, keep your enemies close! The secret is to pump in a fast rhythm together. Daniel and Alicia seem to have sussed it. The others aren't far behind, but the airlock changeover is tricky. Daniel and Alicia pop their second hand. Joe and Cadam are playing catch up, as are Megan and Danny. Can Daniel and Alicia keep their lead? That's their third hand gone, onto the final black one. But Joe and Callum are right behind them. Jan and Alicia have finished, and so have Joe and Callum. The others are neck and neck. It's Megan and Danny Sheree and Nikisha and Lydia. Whose hand will go first? I don't know. Yes. 
It's Megan and Danny's. You three, you can go. You, you three pairs of feathers go back to the mixer. <coughs> but for Nikisha and Lydia, you were so close. You came back. Let's see how close you were. It was a well-fought battle, but at the end, they looked pumped out. Right, it is the blame game. You looked pretty out of breath, but you did so. You nearly caught up there, but what went wrong? Just pulling out the first pump thing. Do you blame each other? No. No. Oh, that's good to see. You're very nice and friendly. But for now, you're headed to lockdown. It's lights out and lockdown for Lydia and for Nikisha. Six players left. Let's mix it up. The first pair of frenemies out are Callum and Alicia. The next pair of frenemies is Daniel and Danny Cherie. And finally, it's Joe and Megan. So we've got Callum and Alicia here. Now, Callum rates himself 8 out of 10 for computer games. That's quite problem solving, you know, likes to solve problems in computer games. Whereas Alicia rates herself only 5. Now, according to the power of mathematics, that gives me a grand total of 13 out of 20. Is that enough? I don't know. It remains to be seen. Then we've got Danny Cherie and Daniel. They've got similar names. They've also got similar fears of things. Now, Danny Cherie's scared of snakes, and Daniel is scared of his toenails being cut. These two are scaredy cats, but will these scaredy cats scare them create a frenemy to be reckoned with? Amazing to be seen. And finally, we've got Megan and Joe. Now, Megan thinks boys don't shower. She thinks they're disgusting and they smell, whereas Joe, well, he thinks that girls fall out with each other all the time. This could be interesting. They're going to argue. I don't want to get involved. I'm not going to get in the middle. I'm frightened. Well, let's see how these frenemies fare, as another pair will be eliminated as we play this. In the pipeline. This is in the pipeline. Here, frenemies, what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to use a magnet to get a ball bearing like this one all the way through the pipes from the start to the finish over here. Now, communication and teamwork is vital, as it's very difficult, because in the middle there, you're going to have to share the magnet and still keep the ball bearing on the track. Now, will your frenemy personalities be attracting a good result? Let's find out. Keep your enemies close. <laughs> the knack is to go slowly but surely. Joe and Megan. Made a speedy start. He's coming Good hand over there. That's right. Okay, this is near it. Alicia and Callum are also doing well. Keep on going. It's a time. Keep it up a bit. There's a mind where you get loose. Come on. Going at the pipeline is tricky. Keep at it, Megan. We're gonna lose it. Get up there. Go! Everyone is having a bit of trouble getting their ball bearings out the pipeline. This is not as easy as it looks. Go up the hill. Go up it. Look at that concentration. Now pull up. Get it. Make sure you've got it. Get it in the middle. Oh, Callum nearly negotiated the trickiest part of the come course, on. but then, oh. You have to keep it slow. Yes, come on. Come on. All the frenemies are now making good progress. Good catch. Hang on a minute, look at this. Alicia and Callum are suddenly motoring. This is a crucial stage for Alicia. Yeah, yeah. With ease. Go! Where are you? Go down. 
Alicia and Callum are really cooking. They're edging ever closer to the finish line. Oh! Oh, come on. Just come on. as I said that. Go, don't look at them. But Danny, Shereen, and Daniel aren't far behind. Turn it. Now push it. Okay. Yes. Break, break. Callum and Alicia have completed it. No, no, just leave it. And so yes, have Daniel and Danny, Sheree. Which means. Keep going, let's finish it. Come on, Joe and Megan, there we go. Get it to the end. Go on, go on, Megan, get it in there. And there you have it. You finished. But come round here, so we need to see at what point it went wrong. There's only seconds in it. You just couldn't recover from that early blip. It's the blame game. Joe, Megan, what went wrong? I kept on losing it at the end. It so... was the vertical bits, wasn't yeah. it, you found really hard? Do you blame each other at all? No. No? You did really well. You lost it just by seconds. But for the moment, you're headed to lockdown. It's lights out and lockdown for Megan and for Joe. Only four players left. Mixer, do your thing. The first pair of frenemies out the mixer is Callum and Daniel. And Alicia and Danny Cherie. So, Megan and Joe join Lydia and Nikisha in lockdown, which means four best friends in lockdown, but four best friends still in the game is everything to play for. What's the mixer done here? Let's see the frenemies it's created. Now, we've got Daniel and Callum here. Now, Callum's favourite instrument is the drums, but Daniel prefers the trombone. One makes massive sound, the other one makes a weird sound, the trombone. Will they try and drown out each other? Will there be a lack of communication? I don't know, we're going to find out. Right, now we've got Alicia and Danny Cherie here. Now, if Alicia could be any animal, she'd want to be a dolphin, graceful, friendly. Whereas Danny Cherie, well, she'd be a bird. A pigeon, maybe. Oh, pigeons, the sea, the air. Could that be conflicting ideas when they play the final game? And remember, a pair of frenemies that win this will make it in to the final. So it's all to play for as we play this. Spanner in the works. Right, two massive spanners and two massive bolts with one massive outcome as a winner of this will make it through to the final. So the aim is to get the nut off the bolt as quickly as possible. But you've got to talk to each other, because you need to come up with a strategy which is more effective and quicker than your opponents. And also, you've got to stay on your side of the white line. Everyone is still in the game. Your best friends in lockdown are relying on you. This is it for a place in the final. Good luck, frenemies. And remember, to keep your enemies close. Start. Start. Alicia is quick off the mark. Go, go, go. Excellent rhythm going there. Good teamwork, girls, and they're slightly ahead of Callum and Daniel. Go, go, go. Oops. Danny Cherie's just lost her grip on the nut. Careful, last thing is They're back on track. Callum and Daniel are catching up. Go. Callum and Daniel just can't seem to forge ahead. Go, 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 go. Alicia and Danny have really got a technique, and it's working. They've overtaken by a country mile. This is incredible. Go, go, go. What a technique. Go, go, go. Get over your head. The knack is to flick the nut off. Close. Oh. Pull it off. It's not going to come off like that, girls. It's so close. Just 
Come back down. So close. It's not off yet. <laughs> Look at this. Which one will drop first? It's... It's coming off. It's coming off. Oh, it's gone back oh. down. Push it. It's... <laughs> Go. Oh, no. There we have it. You were so close, you just couldn't get the tip up. Unfortunately, that means you have been eliminated. You were so close to the final, you just couldn't get it off there. Pipped to the post by you guys. It was an amazing comeback. You look down and out, you know what that means, right? It means you've won back your best friends and you're in the final. Well done. Look at that. Here we go, best friends reunited. Oh, it's a beautiful sight, but it's about to get serious as we play the final. So, the best friends have been reunited. Megan and Callum, what's it like to be reunited? It feels absolutely fantastic. Oh, look at that. Now, Daniel and Joe, why, how do you think you've got this far? What have you done? We kept on going, and when I was eliminated, Daniel just kept on going, and he brought me back. He brought you back, indeed, and you won the first challenge, which was Tube Strike, and you got the hand of friendship. Let's have a look at that great moment again. A win that I will think about forever, and that hand of friendship could come in very, very useful. All will be explained as we play this. Right, best friends, this is the final. On this grid are the words, keep your enemies close final. There are 15 different letters in those words. A letter will then be lit up and a category will be given. You'll then have to come up with two correct answers, starting with that letter from that category. For example, if the letter was C, and the category was food, your answers could be chips and cheese. Best friends, you'll have five seconds to come up with those two correct answers. And this is a sound you'll hear when your time is up. If you give me two correct answers, your enemies will then be pushed along the track closer to those clag shoots. Shoots filled with slimy, disgusting, horrible clag. But if you fail to give me two correct answers, then you yourself move closer to the clag. Now, your aim is to get your enemies to that clag barrier right there, where your enemies will be covered in clag, but the winners will be covered in glory. Now, as we mentioned earlier, that Daniel and Joe won the hand of friendship. Now, this can be used if you don't think you know an answer and you want to pass, but you have to say hand of friendship before the five seconds is up. And you can only use this once, so Joe and Daniel, use it wisely. Now, teams, are you ready? Joe and Daniel, you are first. Here we go. The first letter is S. The category is animal or bird. Time starts now. Snake. Snail. Correct. That is good, which means Megan and Callum, you move one step closer to the clag. Right. Your letter is R. Category, British towns and cities. Time starts now. <laughs> Megan was pleading with me. You could have had something like Ramsgate, Rugby, Reading, which means you move closer to the clag. Right, Daniel and Joe, your letter is... M, the category, band or pop star. Time starts now. Hand of friendship. Hand of friendship has been used, which means, fortunately... It means you move because they won the hand of friendship earlier on. That is the beauty. That is the difference between winning and losing, Megan. Now, you could have had, if you wanted to, you could have had Miley Cyrus, McFly, Maroon 5. But you chose the hand of friendship instead, which was a wise move in that circumstance. Now, Megan and Callum, you really need to get this right because you're getting very close to the clag. Your letter is... F. Category, food or drink. Time starts now. Fanta! Hey, that's a drink. Fish! 
the time was up. Unfortunately, you have to move close to the clag. You could have had something like fish fingers from our tray. Lucky. Daniel and Joe, it's going really well for you. Your letter is... E. Category, country. England. Uh, ever Egypt. Start. Egypt. Egypt, that is correct. Pinks are going forward. You're almost at the clag barrier. You really need to get this right. You can still hang on. Your next letter is... C. Category, name. Time starts now. Cameron. Cameron. Callan and Cameron, that's correct. You live to fight another day. Daniel and Joe, you move one step closer to the clag, but you can send them through the clag barrier on this. Letter is... L. Category, British towns and cities. Time starts now. London. Leeds. That's correct, which means you guys go through the clag barrier on a one-way ticket to Clagsville. Right, Daniel and Joe, best friends. You can send these guys into the clag. Do you have anything you want to say to them? Well done for getting in the final. Ah, uh, ready, go! Here we go! How was that? How did that feel? Right, congratulations, guys. You did so well, I'm getting out of it. <laughs> well, Daniel and Joe, you started off in Tube Strike by winning, and Daniel, you haven't looked back. You've been winning ever since. Joe, you must be very proud of your best friend. Yeah. Well, congratulations. You've proved that you really are the best of friends, and you're very deserving of our Keep Your Enemies Close medallions. So there's one for you, Daniel, and one for you, Joe. Congratulations, guys. Well deserved. So remember to keep your enemies close, but your friends even closer. It's here, the Sarah Jane Adventures. Has the doctor made it in time to save Sarah and her big day? Hold on to your hats. It could be a scary one. Part time apart. All this week on CBBC. It's outrageous. It's Unbelievable. It's incredible by Valhalla. Don't you think it's a bit, bit what? weird? What are you talking about? It doesn't make sense. Have you gone insane? It's back. She's a witch in your imagination. <laughs> I'd uh, like to go on a Sunday, please. It's rather good. But well, I, I don't get it. We didn't get it. Sorry, I've got no head. The brand new series. <laughs> Today at 5.15 on the CPBC channel.